What's going on guys? I've got here a 2002 Chevy Impala and I'm using this car to go over with you the cooling fan relays and the fuses. Uh, let's take a look at the cooling fans. We've got two and my favorite way to troubleshoot these is I'll come in here and I'll see if I can turn the fan blades by hand. Be careful when doing that as the fan can come on at any moment and if your fingers are in here you could get hurt. If you're not able to turn the blades by hand then that's giving you a pretty good indication that the motor is seized and should be replaced. Now another thing we can do while we're here is we can tap on the back of the motors here. Sometimes a bad connection will form on the uh, fan motor and tapping on it if, if that causes the fan to kick on or even turn slowly where it wasn't turning before then uh, that is giving you an indication that you may have an issue with the motor itself. Uh, you can also disconnect the connectors. There are two, one for each fan motor. And you can check and see if they're clean, free of corrosion. Uh, sometimes they'll be burnt out. And uh, you can also check with a voltmeter or a test light, see if you're getting a power and a ground. But let's move on to the fuses and the relays. So those can be found behind this cover here. There are two fuses for the fans and three relays. I'll first go over the fuses. This is a 25 amp fuse here. Power from this fuse gets routed through the cooling fan number one relay. And it's power from this fuse that goes th to this fan or both fans, depending on which other relays are engaged. Our second fuse is called the cooling fan 2-3 fuse. So power from this fuse is used to engage these two relays. And power from this fuse also goes through the driver's side fan. Now let's talk about the relays. Much like the fans, tapping on them is my go-to troubleshooting step. But as far as their operation, why do we have three relays for two fans? That's a good question. So our number one relay, when it engages, what it does is it sends power to the fan here on the passenger side. And if this is the only relay that's engaged, power will go to this fan first, and then the power will travel to the other fan as the this fan will be grounded through that fan. So this will result in both fans spinning, but at a slow rate. When the computer desires faster operation, it will engage these two relays simultaneously. So both of these relays are kind of paired together. They both come on together. What fan two relay does is it takes the ground of this fan and it sends it to direct ground. So in its normal state, when this fan receives power, it's grounded through the other fan, which means both fans ultimately receive the power. When this relay engages, the power coming from this relay will go to this fan and this fan only. So that will cause this fan to spin at a higher speed. The number three relay, when it engages, it sends power to the driver's side fan, uh, causing that fan to spin at full speed. So yeah, I hope this information was helpful for you and a good starting point in troubleshooting the cooling fan on your Impala. Please let me know if you have any questions or more importantly, any advice. Thanks for watching.